Hey everybody, Logan here. Today, we're finally unboxing and testing a new Xbox controller. And you're like, hey, what is that thing? Actually, this is PDP's new, I guess, version of their value line. So I found this, and it's funny, this is the one I was looking for. Uh, the Atomic Black, even though it's very orange, and I found this at GameStop, and it was $25. Uh, on their website, on PDP's website, it's listed as $29, so I found it uh, for $25. So if you guys are looking for uh, a new controller, something that isn't as clacky as what I call it for that Xbox Series XS D-pad, and maybe an alternative to this one, because this is the one I covered a little while ago. Apparently, a lot of you guys have had issues with it. Some of you haven't. So it's 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 a mixed bag. I've been using this one as my daily driver, and I bet you're like, but you have all these uh, crazy first-party controllers and everything. Yeah, but that D-pad. Th this is the very quiet, very soft, great D-pad. I haven't had any problems. Don't have to worry about a rechargeable battery. So when I saw this one, I saw it online, and I think it was on their Instagram or something they showed it. I was like, ooh. I like that. I like the orange. Uh, they have uh, other colors, but the only one the GameStop had was orange. So I figured for 25, because a lot of people are now saying this one's 30. I've seen it in other places for 25. I originally picked it up at Walmart for 20. I don't know if their prices have gone up or down or whatnot, but I picked this one up for 20, this one up for 25. The average going for both of them are 29 from what I've seen. So we're going to open this one. We're going to test it. I'm going to tell you how it feels, just like I do in a lot of my other videos. And uh, yeah, we're going to just see what this bad boy can do. And if it's definitely worth $25 over 20 slash 30. So let's open and find out. Welcome to Rip and Data Gaming. The channel where Logan will show you everything. Alrighty. Hmm. That's the box. Bright orangey green. So let's take a look at the back. Yeah, the back was a little torn. The boxes are very flimsy on these. So I'm not surprised just hanging it. They tore it, but it's 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 factory sealed, so you don't have to worry about it. But app enabled, remap buttons, configure triggers with PDP control hub. That's something you have to download. Now, that's if you're going to use it on PC. I don't plan on using it for PC, but um, I plan on using it for Xbox. So, adjust volume on the fly with patented audio controls located on the D-pad. Basically, you just hold this little button and then you use the D-pad to control the audio. But it's no different than what you would do on your headset or in the xbox uh, dashboard menu now i have a switch version of this and i think the the pdp afterglow version does the same exact thing so it's really no difference and it's not like i can tell you the sound but it does control um communicate with your team using 3.5 audio jack uh share your captured images and video easily with the share button so this is basically the xbox one original design but with a share button and then it says detachable eight foot cable uh, gives you plenty of room to play so eight foot on that cable so as you can see uh, control hub which you have to download Windows Store via Xbox available for free on Xbox Windows 10 from the Microsoft Store all right so we're gonna take a look to see if it's downloadable on uh, the Xbox game store on Xbox. I know it is on PC and honestly dealing with it on the console might be a bit of a pain, but we're going to, we're going to take a look. Now 
it did say it came with one month of Xbox Live Ultimate, so I'm going to make sure you guys do not see that code because I do need it. Uh, ah, hold, hold on. Oh, whoa, 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 shite. Okay, there it is. This fell out. So, one month game pass, it comes with a QR code. And it comes with, this is the PvP hub. Customize your controller easily, update firmware, and tailor your gaming experience to fit your unique style. Visit pdp.com slash pdp-app to learn more about the PDB control hub for Xbox One and Windows 10. And that's not English. That orange is bright. It's actually nice. Is this one of those where the faces come off? No. No. Okay. But it's weird because it's got a little extra lip here. So I figured, I don't know if you guys can see that. I guess it's just for design. That is the button that you would press to play with the audio. Ooh, it's got those sticks that, uh, that the Switch controller has. They, this feels a lot like the old version. Everything feels fine. It, if you've ever had one of the PDP ones before for Xbox One, it feels like the exact same thing. Like, identical. Identical. It's got the share button. All right, there we go. That's the look at that. Everything feels like your solid third-party controller buttons. Don't feel bad. So now we're going to test it and look at basically how it plays on the console. Okay, so I plugged in the controller. Everything works great. And as you can see, it actually does have the PDP control hub uh, on screen. So there we go. Let me get that out because it's actually just messing up the focus. So, so yeah. All right, it's installing. So what we're going to do until then, we're going to bring up the queue. Let's boot up a game. And let's see how it plays. But we're going to skip through so you don't have to wait on the loading. Okay, so we're loaded here. We're going to... All right, everything seems to be fine using this. We'll do that. Aiming seems to be fine. That's fine. Controls. Everything seems to work well. No delay. Feels fine. Someone trying to kill me? Alrighty, let's quit. Just say we've checked all the buttons. There we go. Now we're going to check out the PDP app. Alright, so the PDP app boots up like this. You see the controller. Uh, Alright, that's, that's this. That's, that's that right here. Okay, what, what, what are we doing? Am I going to throw this with the app you can update and customize your controller this thing this 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 let's get started so there's already an update for the controller i'm not sure what it does but yeah there it goes Oop, let me show you so we do already have a an update so one thing I can tell you, update your controller. There's already one for it. That's pretty good. So would you like a quick tutorial of the main sections of the home screen? Sure. This navigation bar, each icon. All right. Okay, self-explanatory. Highlight summary section, use the art. Okay. 
these are okay okay all right you guys good with that okay cool okay that's pretty interesting you can delete the shortcuts tab the shortcuts add them back okay now you're adding a little too much nope don't need any of that so we've got the the volume in the top we've we've got game chat that can okay that's not what i wanted to do that was weird uh mic mute mic monitoring vibration so you can remap your buttons uh so it's a little touchy here. I'm not a big fan of the, how the app is set up. Um, audio configuration, remap buttons, button diagnostics, audio diagnostics, and then... All right. Okay, so this... Uh, okay, that's kind of stupid. So it still triggers the effect if you're pressing all the buttons there you go all right so everything works diagnostics configuration okay you can configure everything look for dead zones remap that's pretty cool so you can download this straight to your Xbox. You can play with it more, but hey, now you can see all the features you can do with this controller at 25 bucks from GameStop or $30 from their website. I'm sure you can pick it up on Amazon as well. See, that's what I saw right there. That, 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 that probably was the tweet. But hey, what do you guys think about this? I think it's a pretty nifty controller. Um, I honestly didn't know there was an app, so that's why we did it this way and not game capture and everything because then i'd have to move to another xbox but yeah tell me what you guys think i think it's pretty decent for 25 dollars um it has a few extra features than i expected and i think that's kind of nifty so tell me what you guys think drop it in the comments below you can see the other colors up there they got the green they got the white as well as uh this orange so yeah well mm, nifty and there's 20 percent off all gaming gear there you go there's a code up there, Spring 20. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Uh, leave a little like if this uh, helped you. If not, like it anyway. <laughs> uh, again, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that super thanks little button down there with the heart with the little dollar sign in it. Give us a tip. That will really help us out. Those things go very far. So thank you guys so much. Again, hit that subscribe button like we always say. Be legendary. Thanks again.